torque element. Batteries are going to be a massive thing. Elon Musk once said that with his usual calm confidence, but even he admitted that not many people truly grasp just how gigantic the demand for batteries is about to become. By the time more than 2 million Tesla Model 2s roll off the line later this year and begin deliveries in the first quarter of 2026, the world will need an ocean of energy storage. But this time, Musk isn't planning to rely on lithium alone. He's preparing for something much bigger. Leaked supply chain documents and insider reports from Tesla's research labs reveal two new technologies quietly being tested for the Model 2, aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries. And if these breakthroughs are real, they could rewrite everything we think we know about the cost, safety, and performance of electric vehicles. For years, people have wondered why the dream of an affordable EV, a true people's car, has stayed just out of reach. Every new electric model that promised to change everything somehow ended up costing fifty or $60,000. For many families, especially older folks on fixed incomes, that's not an option. And the reason Babe has always been the same, the battery. The battery pack alone can make up 40% of an electric car's total cost. It's the single most expensive part of the vehicle. And while Tesla builds its own gigafactories, the materials that feed them still come from across the ocean, mostly from China. China dominates the global battery supply chain. From mining lithium to refining cobalt and nickel, to manufacturing the finished cells, everything passes through their control. That's why Chinese EV makers can sell shockingly cheap models, while American manufacturers struggle under extra costs, taxes and tariffs. But Elon Musk is a man who hates being dependent on anyone, especially when it means billions of dollars leaving American soil. So, inside Tesla's labs he started pushing for two alternatives, aluminum and sodium, both of which can be sourced right here at home. Aluminum is everywhere. It's abundant, cheap and already deeply woven into America's mining and manufacturing industries. The United States holds over 300 million tons of bauxite reserves across states like Arkansas, Texas, and Georgia. It's a resource that's been waiting for the right moment and the right innovation. And Musk believes this is it. By shifting to aluminum ion technology, Tesla can secure a steady domestic supply chain and slash costs in ways that seemed impossible even a few years ago. At roughly $2,500 per ton, aluminum is dramatically cheaper than lithium or nickel. Combine that with Tesla's vertical integration, mining, refining, and manufacturing all handled internally, and you've got a formula for disruption. No more paying foreign mining fees. No more $150 shipping costs per pack. No more import taxes. The result? Tesla could soon build an aluminum battery pack for around $2,800, almost $5,000 cheaper than today's lithium ones. And that difference changes everything. Because if the battery costs drop, so does the price of the car. Insiders estimate that the Model 2 could launch around $21,000. But with Tesla's usual end-of-quarter discounts, that price could slip below $19,000. Imagine that, a brand new Tesla for less than the price of a compact gasoline sedan. Now let's talk about sodium ion. Salt, as ordinary as it sounds, could turn out to be just as revolutionary. Sodium makes up more than 2% of the Earth's crust about a thousand times more abundant than lithium. A ton of sodium carbonate costs only $300, 40 times cheaper than lithium. That means, in theory, sodium ion batteries could cost a fraction of what we're used to. If lithium batteries cost about $120 per kilowatt hour, sodium could bring that down to 25. That's unprecedented. At that rate, Tesla could build a full sodium battery pack for around $1,700, the cheapest EV pack in history. But cost isn't the only factor. Both aluminum and sodium promise other big advantages. First, safety. For decades, lithium batteries have carried a reputation for risk, overheating, swelling, and even catching fire. Those viral videos of cars burning on highways didn't help. But both aluminum ion and sodium ion chemistries are much more stable. They don't go into thermal runaway as easily. They don't ignite under impact. That peace of mind could be life-changing, especially for older drivers who value safety above all. Then there's performance. Aluminum ion batteries pack incredible energy density, up to 300 watt-hours per kilogram, compared to the 110 of older lithium packs. That's a 150% improvement. It means the Model 2 could travel up to 650 miles on a single charge, double what a Model 3 manages today. Even more jaw-dropping? Charging times. Field tests show that aluminum ion cells can recharge from zero to full in just 5 to 10 minutes. Not 80%. Full. That's less time than it takes to grab a coffee. 
Imagine pulling into a station, plugging in and leaving before your radio song ends. Sodium ion doesn't quite match that range or charging speed, but it still blows lithium out of the water. With an energy density of around 160 to 190 watt hours per kilogram, it could deliver 300 to 350 miles per charge, perfect for city commuters or retirees who take weekend trips. And it thrives in conditions where lithium struggles. In freezing cold, lithium loses capacity fast. Sodium, on the other hand, maintains over 90% efficiency even at 20 degrees below zero. In heat above 60 degrees Celsius, it still performs nearly flawlessly. For drivers in deserts or snowy northern states, that kind of consistency is priceless. Tesla's engineers know this isn't just about science, it's about trust. Older generations grew up around cars that ran for decades. They expect longevity, not gadgets that fade after a few years. And these batteries are built for endurance. Aluminum ion cells can last up to 12,000 full charge cycles with less than 3% capacity loss after nearly 10,000. That's more than 30 years of typical use. Sodium ion comes close, with about 9,000 cycles and 90% capacity after nearly 7,000 charges. So, whichever battery the Model 2 ends up using, longevity won't be a concern. And yet, what's most impressive isn't just the chemistry, it's how fast Tesla is moving. Other automakers, even giants like Toyota and BMW, are talking about 2028 or 2030 for commercial next-gen batteries. But Tesla doesn't wait for permission. The company's internal timeline shows that full production of aluminum ion batteries could begin at Giga Texas in November 2025, just weeks away. Initial capacity will be about 300 gigawatt hours per year, enough for 2 million vehicles. And for sodium ion? The path is a bit longer but already underway. The challenge lies in the purity of the cathode material. Inconsistent batches have shown up to 15% capacity variation. To solve that, Tesla's building a closed-loop synthesis line at Giga Nevada, recycling sodium from industrial soda ash to ensure uniformity. Once stabilized, sodium ion packs should enter production by March 2026. Think about that for a second. Two entirely new battery technologies, both made in America, both cheaper and safer than lithium, entering the market within months of each other. That's the kind of innovation that doesn't just shift industries, it shifts economies. Now imagine the impact on everyday people. You walk into a Tesla showroom in spring 2026. For less than $20,000, you can buy a car that drives 600 miles, charges in 10 minutes, and could last longer than your mortgage. No gas stations, no oil changes, no fear of breakdowns. For retirees living on a pension or working families tired of unpredictable fuel prices, this changes everything. But let's take a moment to zoom out. This isn't just about one company's success. It's about breaking free from dependency. For decades, the world has chased rare materials, lithium, cobalt, nickel, often mined under harsh, unstable conditions overseas. By switching to aluminum and sodium, Tesla can manufacture batteries using elements mined, refined, and recycled within the U.S. itself. It's not just cheaper, it's cleaner, more ethical, and more secure. And that's a powerful message for a generation that's watched industries rise and fall due to foreign dependency. Still, there are skeptics. Some analysts say aluminum ion sounds too good to be true. High energy density, lightning fast charging, no overheating, it feels like a dream. But Tesla's not just experimenting anymore. Internal sources report that over a dozen Model 2 prototypes equipped with aluminum packs have already completed final testing. Range tests are done. Safety benchmarks passed. Thermal stress simulations exceeded expectations. One engineer described it as watching the impossible happen in slow motion. Of course, Musk is playing his cards close. Tesla hasn't made an official announcement yet. But industry watchers are convinced. The aluminum battery is real and it's coming. And once it does, lithium's reign will crumble overnight. The strategy behind it is brilliant too. While competitors pour billions into catching up, Tesla will control the entire process, from raw material to recycling. It's vertical integration at its purest form. Musk doesn't want to just build cars. He wants to build ecosystems, self-sustaining, circular systems that feed themselves. Recycling will play a major role. Aluminum is one of the few materials that can be recycled indefinitely without losing strength or purity. That means every old Tesla battery becomes a goldmine for the next generation. A car that you buy in 2026 could, years later, help power another one in 2036. And that's how Musk thinks, decades ahead. 
Meanwhile, sodium ion will quietly fill the other half of Tesla's vision. If aluminum powers the performance line, sodium will drive the affordable segment. The commuters, the families, the people who simply need a car that never lets them down. It's stability, not speed. It's reliability, not risk. This dual approach could be Tesla's masterstroke. Aluminum for range and power. Sodium for durability and cost. Together, they could give Tesla the flexibility to adapt to any market condition. Raw material shortages, price shifts, or regulatory challenges. But for most of us, especially those watching from home, the big question is simple. Will it finally make electric cars mainstream? The answer feels closer than ever. When a technology becomes cheaper, safer, and faster all at once, it doesn't just grow, it explodes. Think of smartphones after touchscreens, or personal computers after the microchip. Aluminum and sodium batteries could be that moment for EVs. And that's what makes 2026 so important. In just a few months, we'll see whether Tesla's promise of independence and innovation becomes reality. Whether American-made batteries will finally end the lithium era. For Elon Musk, this is more than a business move. It's legacy. He's betting the future of Tesla, and maybe the entire electric revolution, on two elements that have always been under our feet, aluminum and salt. So, when that first Model 2 rolls out, equipped with a gleaming new battery pack born not in China, but in America, remember what it represents. It's not just another car. It's a statement that technology, vision, and persistence can turn even the most ordinary materials into something extraordinary. And for millions of people waiting for an affordable, safe, long-range EV, that moment can't come soon enough. Before you go babe, don't forget to hit subscribe and tap the bell. Help Torque Element reach 2,000 subscribers and join the circle of insiders who see Tesla's breakthroughs before the rest of the world does. Because this, right here, is the start of something massive. The aluminum and sodium revolution has begun.